oops, there was a mistake in the notes, um, which I will fix for future reference. But um, if you have this version, did you notice there's a mistake? Hopefully you did. So when we did this, we actually used Excel to do this computation. And I can see that these are the correct numbers for the relative frequencies. So that is what I should have had right here for these numbers, right? Hold on, let me go type them in. There they are. Not a big deal, but that's why Excel is so handy. Man, it catches all your mistakes. All right, so now I've got my plain frequencies down here, my peanut frequencies down here, and I actually just labeled them plain and peanut because whatever you label them as, that's going to become the legend, and I didn't want to bother with the M&M thing. Now, in case you're wondering if you want to make this look prettier, you can highlight, go up here to the borders menu and pick a border like all borders say, and you can center all of them right here with the centering button. And I'm going to highlight these and make them bold or something like that. You don't have to, but you might as well. All right, I'm going to highlight this whole table. So I've got the plain relative frequencies, the peanut relative frequencies. I pasted special in order to keep their number values. Just for the record, if you copy, I'm just going to show you what happens, and paste, it, they're not the same numbers anymore. It, it changes because what happens is, see, oopsie, the formulas are right in there. But we don't want the formulas, so don't do that. Right? Paste special to get the numbers, but nothing else. All right, so highlight the whole shebang. This will be for your side-by-side -side bar graph. Matter of fact, I'm going to label it side-by-side -side bar graph distribution. Right, it's the distribution I need for my side-by-side -side bar graph. And for the record, this was the one I needed for my Pareto chart distribution. That way I've got everything nice and labeled for myself. In fact, I'm even going to merge those centers, highlight those cells, merge them. You don't have to do that, but I like to because I like keeping everything neat and organized. All right, I highlight this, go to Insert, click Column, pick the top left one, and there we go. And see it labels them plain peanut, right? I mean, if you wanted to, I didn't, but if you wanted to get funky with the colors, you could say, okay, plain comes in a... Um, very dark brown bag, so let me pick that. But peanut comes in a bright yellow bag. <laughs> it's kind of ugly and hard to read, but you know, if you really want to do that, you can knock yourself out. You can add a border to make it easier to understand. Matter of fact, I'm not happy with that brown. I'm going to go to more colors and find, oh, there it is, a deep chocolate brown. Cool, huh? I didn't even do that for the one in the, in the table. I think I'm going to fix that. All right, so go to Layout, and you're going to have to add some titles, like a side-by-side -side bar graph of M and M color. Um, oops, that's fine. And then go to Access Title. That's M and M color. And then I'm going to go to over here axis title vertical axis I'm gonna put it in oh rats I picked the wrong one rotated there we go relative frequency if I could spell it enter there we go beautiful side-by-side -side bar graph isn't that lovely matter of fact it's so lovely I'm gonna replace the one that was in here which I'll fix that for future so if you're watching this video later you might you might have just have that instead of the other colors because those are prettier all right now what does the vertical axis or excuse me why does the vertical axis use percentages rather than raw numbers excellent question how come I'm looking at this to this as percent so a little bit over like 36 percent to 22 percent well remember the peanut bag only has 22 and the the plain bag had 60. So it's not fair to compare raw numbers because, let me type that up. Hold on one second. There we go. So it's not fair to compare raw numbers because the peanut bag only had 22, but the plain bag had 60. So for example, the plain bag had 14 orange, but the peanut bag only had eight. So if you compared, hold on, I'll type it. There we go. So it would seem, if you compare raw numbers, that the plane is higher because it's 14 to 8. But in actuality, the peanut bag had so few in it that those 8 were a much higher percent of the total for that bag. right? And you can see it because the bar is higher here. 